Hey guys, so here bringing you a, another video. Welcome back to a Q&A. Not done one in a while, and we're actually doing one live on Twitch right now because we kind of have to, in a way, not have to do a Q&A, but League of Legends is dead. I'm recording this on Tuesday afternoon, and Vanguard has just acted up, and nobody can get in-game. It's like Vanguard 84 error or something, and yeah, it's just killed League. So... Oh, I, I was in the mood to do a Q&A for a while, so that's what we're going to do for the next half an hour or so. Um, I don't know if I'll upload it to Huzzy Games or Huzzy Extra. Obviously, this weekend I'm going away on a trip. And considering this is time that I'm supposed to be bulk recording and I can't play the game right now, that sucks. So anyway, let's get into some questions. Already got a bunch. Thank you very much, Twitch chat. Shoo, where are we? Um, I need to even find the start of them. Uh, first one is from BR325 says, what what type of game would I design? So obviously, yeah, my background, I have a, a video game design degree. If I were to make one, realistically, if I were to do, and I, I actually, and I will say this is going to sound crazy just to say, but like, I have thought about it. Me and my friends have discussed it. You know, we can make a game. I have thought about doing kind of um, a side-scrolling monkey island kind of side-scrolling puzzle game that i think would be the game that i would just make like that a version of that like something of that nature is probably what i personally would do initially like i'm not gonna sit here and go i'd make an mmorpg no what i think would be realistic was with, with the skills that i and my friends have got from doing a de degree in game design i think we could make a pretty good side scrolling puzzle game um so that's what i'd probably do uh next up is maladroit um says i used to watch your content all the time years ago remember you got lasik eye surgery do the effects like wear off and is that why you're wearing glasses uh yeah so typically they quote you about 10 years or so and it all you know it very much varies with yourself and your environment but they roughly say about 10 years is how long you'll have until your eyes start getting worse again so you know if you've got to a point that your eyes are bad, naturally your eyes aren't very good. So laser eye doesn't fix that. Naturally, they will stop getting bad again. I obviously started wearing glasses around the you know six and a half, seven year mark. Um, I had it at the end of 2016. And let's be honest, it's because of my computer use. I'm on a computer every single day, uh, many hours a day, whether I'm playing video games or editing or whatever. I'm on computer a stupid amount. So... I have had a consultation. I can have laser eye surgery one more time. Basically, the uh, I think it's the cornea is a bit too thin to have it multiple times because every time you get a laser, like, you know, it burns through it a bit uh, with the version that I have to have. Um, so I can have it one more time. And I've decided what I'm going to try and do is, uh, you know, if Queen Pleb in a couple of years time goes, I'm pregnant, I'm going to look to get laser eye surgery like, pretty much immediately after I've heard that she's pregnant because I don't want to have glasses and faff around with glasses when I've got a baby and if it lasts for another seven years then that's the first you know six seven years of a kid's life that will be good so yeah um Mark says why do you not like open world games I do like open world games I don't know what gives you the impression I don't but no I do some of my favorite games of all time are open world games you know G the GTA series I love the Red Dead series I love I, I, I do like open world games. I think maybe where Mark's maybe got that from potentially is I don't like El Elden Ring. And that's not... It's an open world game, but that doesn't mean I dislike all of them. Like Elden, Elden Ring is a fantastic game in its own right, but I don't like a game that doesn't give you direction. And obviously Elden Ring is kind of like just do whatever and you kind of have to work it out yourself. I don't love that. And I also don't like the combat, but I like, I like uh, Elden Ring games. What are the fancy numbers on the card, Huz? I don't know what that is. You'll have to define that when I get back down to new people typing. Um, Alaramix says, what do I think should happen for League to get less toxic and have less trolls? A, a better punishment system. Like, that's the only way you can do it. it. Well, two ways. Three ways. A better punishment system, so actually punish people that are toxic. Uh, two, reward positivity more. And they've tried to do that a bit, but it's not great. Just reward it more. And thirdly, and this is one that people really will dislike, and I, they'll immediately go, oh, there's ways to get around it. And there is. There are ways to get around what I'm about to suggest. But it's a problem, and it's a nuisance. And if you get banned, then you have to get around it again. To play ranked, like Clash, have a mobile number attached. It's 
you know, you can get around it, but it's still annoying if you get banned all the time and you have to keep having a mobile number and keep getting one on an online mobile. Like, it's annoying. So it's another kind of hurdle. So that's what I would say. Um, do, 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 do. What genre of music do I expect to make a comeback refresh in coming years? I have no idea. Again, I like music, but I'm not in like the world of knowing about it. And that was from Moxim. Uh, Herlum says, how's the Achilles healing going right now? Not well, if I'm completely honest. Um, yeah, not not ideal. So I'm in a decent amount of pain at any given time about my Achilles. And, you know, for example, I went with a dog field with Maya this morning. And I, I, partially I would say sometimes it's my fault. But I'm on a dog field with my puppy. And I want to chase around and play a bit. And I did that. And I'm not even kidding. When I was like, right, time to get to the car. I was in agony. Like, and I had already taken ibuprofen and paracetamol preemptively before the dog field. Because it's always bad. You know, when I'm having to do dog walks. And I do them a lot now, a week. It's in pain. So the problem that I've got. And like, there's not really anything I can do about it. Is kind of the issue. I'm actively in treatment for it um, now. And one of the things that they've said is, oh, we want you to stretch it out, but we cannot let you overuse it. And I was like, OK, what's overusing it? They're like, If you're actively in pain, you're overusing it and you're just going to be damaging it and not letting it heal. Every dog walk, I'm in pain, but I have to do dog walks like that's the thing. I can't not do them. So I honestly am stuck in a little bit of a place of I don't know how it's going to get better because I can't just go like for a three month period. I'm not doing any dog walks that can't happen, you know. Bean Pleb is in the office two days a week. I've got Maya myself two days a week. So at least two days a week, I need to do dog walks. And I do more dog walks than that anyway. Like, I, I don't know. I'm a bit stuck. But we'll see. Uh, would I play other MOBAs such as upcoming Battle Royale MOBAs? I've played most of the MOBAs on the market. Um, so, you know, I've played Dota 2. I played Han. I've played uh, Heroes of the Storm. There was a DC one many years ago. I've played, I've played the Pokemon one. And all of them do things slightly better than one another. But I, in my opinion, and it's just my opinion, it's obviously why I chose League uh, of all of them. I think League does most of it the best. And, um, you know, there's, there's more things that, you know, there's things that I would take from Dota 2. And there's things I'd take from Heroes of the Storm. But I think League has just got most of it the best in what I like. But that's the thing. If someone doesn't like that, like their game would be Dota 2. Like there, there's not a right or wrong answer. Just for me, I like the the most. So yeah, I don't know about the upcoming Battle Royale MOBAs. I'm not really sure about them. So I've not really researched them, but I might give them a go. We'll see. Um, Fraz says, who's my favorite chatter and why is it Fraz? I don't have favorite. That's, that's not good. It's like having a favorite child. Um, Galopa says, what expectations do I have on the future of League in the next five years? I think it's quite up in the air of like how League is going to be. Um, like Riot has, Riot has tried to do certain things and there are certain things that are interesting with the game. You know, they are, you know, some of the choices that they've made is pretty good. You know, the map changes, I think were really good, but and I think this is a major but, and for those that have not heard this yet, you may be hearing this from me for the first time. It has been officially announced, and I'm not saying this is a bad thing because it just makes common sense. Basically, League of Legends in the West is in essence kind of dying. Um, the player base in the, in the West is overall not growing. You know, viewer numbers on pro tournaments, they're very much down compared to the, what they were five years ago. They might have had a small 10% bump from last year, but they are still overall down in comparison to the past. The biggest region, obviously, by far, and makes up for 95% of the players, is China. And Riot have announced, Freak himself, obviously, the head of balance of one of them, has said, in terms of balancing the game, they are actually going to be starting to use Chinese data, uh, which they have never done before, really. Um... And what's actually cool, and I, I don't know, maybe I could do a video looking into it properly, but um, Chinese data is now available to us. Because they're going to be using Chinese data in terms of balance, it has now become available for the rest of us. And the differences, some of them are wild. For example, 
the most banned thing in China is Samira. She is banned over 30 odd percent of games. They will not let that champion in a game. They absolutely detest it. But then champions that sometimes we define as scary, they don't care about. It is bizarre. So like that might affect balance quite a lot. So, you know, that's a bit peculiar. Um, but yeah, so they are going to start using Chinese data. And obviously when it comes to the future of League, could that be scary? I mean, as someone who plays in the West, that could be quite scary if Chinese, obviously, we go off what they like. They like high damage one shot meta. I don't like that. A lot of the West does not like that. So that does scare me a bit. Um, and what I would say, my, you know, I'm not trying to fear monger or anything, but my ultimate fear would be, you know, Riot's a company, they're here to make money. And if they just basically go to, and it's any business should do this, the biggest customer base that's giving you the most money, you balance the game to them, you make the game for them. League of Legends could kind of slowly transition from being a game that the West do play to a game the West does not play. So we'll see. Uh, next one from Prowling is, how am I feeling in terms of career? Am I still considering a more traditional full-time role or ho uh, hoping the second channel allows you to continue being a full-time creator? I'm in, I'm in a bit of a weird place in terms of that. Um, so like financially, you know, and you have to take that into account. I'm doing kind of okay again. You know, the, the subscriber number is really low, but I think that's mainly because the subathon is in a few weeks. But what's really helped is obviously I've said quite a lot. The uh, the sponsored games that we've done now, uh, three of them once per month for the last three months, they have genuinely been in my in my mind a lifesaver. You know, like I was having a bit of panic attacks about my future and stuff, and I was sleeping awfully. But even Queen Pleb, my fiance, has noticed I've I've actually really chilled out because they have just kind of brung me to the level that I kind of used to be at financially. And that's the level I'm comfortable with. And I've always tried to make it very clear. I'm not here as a content creator to get stupid rich or anything like that. I just want to be like live a life. And that's ultimately what my goal is. I just want to live my life and be comfortable enough to not worry about things, you know, especially in the next few years that me and Queen Pleb want to start a family. So for the, for the time being, it's OK. Um, but obviously, that's the thing. It's the time being and what is my future. So I am doing the second channel thing. So we are literally days away from the second channel being fully monetized. And I'm excited about it because I'm hoping it will help. Um, but am I, you know, in the back of my mind, am I still thinking, am I going to get a full time career job? Yeah, like I can't. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I, I always want to say I'm pretty honest and open with you all. Um, you know, I had that interview experience that I made it to like the top four candidates out of like a lot for my first ever time I applied to a job and I was literally told we'd love to hire you. We wish we could hire you, but because this role is, you know, a one of one right now, we need to go with someone that's done it before just to make sure that it's we know they can do it. But again, that was left on in six months to a year. We're most likely going to contact you and there most likely will be a role that we want to offer you because we want you to work for us so that's where that was left and that was a couple months ago so i'm not putting all my eggs into that basket mentally of going up oh, i'll have a job with them down the line no um i'm not really scouting job websites at the moment you know i think sometimes you have to be in mentally a place to do that and i i just i'm, I'm kind of really hard focused on um content right now you know i'm doing as always two videos a day every day on the huzzy channel i'm even being uploaded three four videos on huzzy extra like it's a lot of that i'm doing right now as a complete one-man operation it's a lot <laughs> it truly is um so i'm kind of just hard focusing that like i've obviously not done shorts as much recently because i've been doing the huzzy extra stuff but soon when i start uploading the second video to huzzy extra then i'm going to bring shorts back because obviously shorts are a great way to grow your content so my workload is still going to stay very high, but that's the thing in modern day, um, in modern day content, you have to keep on top of it. Unless you've made it to the big leagues, you've got to keep grinding. And that's where I've always said, like people truly have never got why a content creator who's doing well leaves or quits or gets a job. Unless you've done this full time, it's really hard, like to depict it. You know, I think a lot of people in the League of Legends verse, in my circle, everyone talks about Fi. He had a channel that was doing good, lots of views. He just went and he left. And it's it's a it's a certain lifestyle to do this content creator thing. And the best way I can de 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 define it 
And this is what, like, when you haven't made it to the big leagues, you know, we're not talking about, like, Tim the Tatman or Dr. Disrespect or the big guys that make millions that they can just do whatever they want. They can take a week off and just not even announce it. It doesn't matter. The audience will be there. They have a huge audience. It doesn't matter. When you're on, like, the, the cusp of doing it as a full time and it's, you know, it's touch and go and everything matters. It's a lot. Um, and sometimes you don't want that. And I've always said, you know, sometimes, you know, I'm on camera every day. Sometimes I don't want to be on camera. And it's it's just the life of it. So I, I get where people come from of like, it's an amazing job. You need to be grateful and you need to like, you know, and I am 100% obviously. And like, I still to this day can't believe that I get to do this. Like, you know, it, I sometimes think I'm dreaming, but it's a dream job. And I'm sure a lot of people would love to do it. But unless you've done it full time, it's not it's there's there are problems with this. there's problems with every single job that's the thing so but yeah um next up boop -a -doop, boop -a -doop. where are we um what is my favorite type of video game um that i like to play i mean technically you could say a moba with league of legends but no realistically my favorite literal game that i would like to play but i can't is an MMORPG. So like a World of Warcraft. Like, to me, that's the ultimate game type, but I can't play League of Legends full time and then also play a game like Warcraft full time or like as my main game. I'm too competitive and I know myself. And the problem with like getting into something like Warcraft is as like, I, I've mained everything in Warcraft, DPS, tank, healer, etc. But I'm a main DPS, that's my mind. If I'm not at the top of the damage charts, I'm triggered. So I constantly have to grind, constantly gear up, constantly practice some target dummies and try to perfect what I'm doing. I can't do that if I'm doing League full time. So it's just better if I don't play something like Warcraft. Um, My favorite, my, my what was my five favorite video games in the last five years apart from League? Oh, that's a hard question. I also like, again, the last five years, time is a very weird thing because I would say Red Dead 2, but I think Red Dead 2 is six years old. But I'm, I'm going to count it anyway. Um, oh, dude, I don't know. Like, genuinely, uh, Ghost of Tsushima probably is in there. Uh, I don't play many new games. That's the thing. The older you get, I think you play less new games. God of War, uh, Spider-Man on PS5. That's probably what I can have in the top of my head. I don't know. Um, do I like scary movies? Not really. No. And then if you were to study at uni again, what field would I study in? Uh, marketing, I would say. Yeah. So in the in the job area that I'm looking at, and I've told you guys, it's like community management and stuff like that. Uh, mark It crosses over with marketing a lot. I've actually, and I, you know, oh yeah, I, I can announce this. Why not? Um, one thing I have contemplated about doing um is a master's so i can still do content full time and then i could do a master's in you know one to two years if i can do it in two years if i do it remotely so i can maintain doing you know full-time content creation and go do a master's and i would do a master's in marketing so i actually have inquired at a university to you know begin the talks about that to inquire about information so yeah um how come you never do a VOD review on your own league games that you lost in, seeing the mistakes you and others make, um, where you feel it went wrong, etc.? I, with, this is going to sound big-headed. I already know the mistakes. Uh, that's the thing. Like, m people won't really get it, and you know, most streamers won't admit mistakes when they're live on stream. But if you've made it to master, I know my mistakes that I'm making. Broxer knows his mistakes he's making. Baus knows his mistakes he's making. Like, when you've made it to diamond, high diamond, master plus, you know the mistakes you're making. Is what it's one thing knowing the mistakes you're making, and there's another thing saying it loud or out loud on stream. They're, they're two different things. Like, trust me, I know when I've made mistakes. I may not say them out loud on stream, and the reason for not saying them out loud is the same for everyone. Is you don't want to tilt yourself, and also like if you really go on your own mistakes, Twitch chat and even YouTube comments sometimes can be a bit of like a dog pile, um, a bit. So if you kind of open up yourself to saying oh, I did this wrong, this wrong, this wrong. A dog pile effect can kind of happen sometimes, so you've got to be a little bit careful, but yeah. Um, would I ever switch away from League of Legends as my main content? And then there's another question saying, if League doesn't exist, what would I stream? They can kind of go hand in hand. Um, 
I, I have thought about it in the past of like truly would I play something different um as a full-time stream like you know the if let's say I get a full-time job in the next year or so and you know financially I don't have to do anything on the on the side and I'm very happy financially I'd probably still stream League as crazy as that sounds I'd probably stream it less clearly but I've played League now for over 10 years. It is weirdly part of me, so it would feel very, very weird to not play it anymore. But at one stage, I probably thought the same about World of Warcraft. I played World of Warcraft religiously to the point that it was unhealthy, and I no longer play that. I haven't played it for years. So, you know, change does happen, but it would be weird to not stream League. Um, and if, it, if League didn't exist, I think I would mainly stream FPS games. Like that, I would honestly say mainly FPS games I would stream. You know, when COD Warzone uh, was first out, I was streaming that and I played pretty damn good and had really good performances on stream and that was really fun. So probably FPS games as, as, a, as a major and then probably do a little bit of variety would be the absolute dream. Because um, I, I will say, and it's going to sound very weird, even though, you know, I'm in Master, the top 0.5%, I don't think my best genre of video game is MOBAs at all. I think the like I'm I think I'm better as an MMORPG like raider in like World of Warcraft. I think I'm better than what I am in League in that. But I also think I'm better at FPS games than I am at MOBAs. You know, if I jump on an FPS game now, I may not be amazing because I don't play them as much anymore. But if I were to play like a Call of Duty or an FPS game as much as I play League, I'd be better than I am at League and I'm in the top 0.5% of League. So, like, I think I am better at FPS games than basically anything else. So, yeah. Um, I think we're nearly through everything. Uh, in the subathon, would I do a, a goal of one trick day where I play my best slash favorite champ, e etc., uh, Anivia or GP, what I said? If people want that, yeah. Like, truly, I've never done a pure one trick day. I've never done it. If someone wants, if people want me to make a goal of, right, if we get to this subs or this time of the subathon, you have to play one champion the whole one stream, I'll do it. You know, it'll be a weird experiment, but we, we can do that. I've never done it before. But yeah, maybe we, we, we can add that as a goal if people want it. Um, And then someone just said about the Riot MMO. Um, So yeah, talking about the Riot MMO, um put it this way as i'm a what you could call upper tier uh, league of legends partner so there's league of legends partners and there's kind of upper tier partners and i'm in the upper tier so that means i'm told things more i'm under a higher level of nda i get obviously all the riot meetings i have access to developers and i'm going to say something that i'm probably even not allowed to say because of the nda and here's the funny thing is i know nothing about the mmorpg so that kind of puts you in a little bit of like it is nowhere. <laughs> it is nowhere in the near vicinity. Uh, if it was at any, you know, if it was at a stage that they would be showing anything soon, I would know about it. Nope, <laughs> I know nothing. Um, obviously, we do know that development of it has been mainly reset. So the story of that is Ghost Crawler was in charge. Who obviously used to be on Warcraft. He was making an MMO in his vision, and it was not aligned with Riot's vision of an mmo so he left and he has now made his own studio that he's making his own mmorpg and that basically put riot in a position of we've kind of just wasted the last two three years we have to reset everything because we don't want to do what he was doing so that's really delayed it obviously and mmorpgs are the longest to develop games anyway uh, apart from like obviously like a project like gta 6 or something um but you know i will play it like when if it if it doesn't get cancelled and it comes out i will obviously play it i will obviously be streaming it and will obviously have a guild called the plebs that will happen i just hope it's good um you know it's the it's the crazy thing like trust me like when we had a question earlier of like you know what am i going to do am i going to get a full-time career i'm going to try and keep doing content for years and years and years <clears throat> i'm hoping the two channels help a lot and that you know will fix the algorithm a bit with youtube because i like most content creators do this now you know pink ward does this uh i think drew Tut has two channels like a lot of the big channels now they have two channels they upload two videos a day so it doesn't screw both of your channels over 
I'm hoping it will help. You know, don't, don't get me wrong. I don't think our videos are going to get back over 10,000 videos, uh, 10,000 views a day on the same day I upload it. But if they could get to 5,000, that would be awesome, you know? Um, so we'll see how that goes. But sometimes it does in my head. I'm like, oh, dude, I really wish it, with timing and everything, if the MMO came out now, I'd really go all into it and make all the content really go ham into it. And maybe that would be good as a content creator to like get a boost. But the MMO is nowhere, nowhere near coming out. So it's the way of it. So, yeah. Um, unfortunately, that's the way it goes. But I am looking forward to eventually when it comes out. But anyway, that is going to be it. That is the Q&A. So a nice little short and sweet one. 20, 25 minutes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. So again, as I said, I don't know if this is being uploaded on the Huzzy Games channel or the Huzzy Extra channel. Obviously, right now, I should be grinding, making videos. This is Tuesday afternoon. I'm going away on Friday and I can't play. So that kind of sucks because this this already has cost me like an hour. So that's like two videos that could be done. Um, so it might be uploaded on the Huzzy, X, uh, Huzzy Games account. We'll see. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. Obviously, I probably would have gameplay on the screen. As always, though, the gameplay that I've got spare is from games that don't get uploaded. So it's probably not the best gameplay on the screen. But anyway, see you guys next time. Peace. Regime, I know how to unleash eternal.